Hi, welcome to simplyscuba.com. In this session, we're looking at the Sunto D9 watch style dive computer. Let's take a closer look. So, some of the features we've got on the computer then. As you can see, it's a watch type design, nice low profile on the actual watch itself, making it nice and comfortable on your wrist as you obviously will be wearing this on a day to day basis as a regular watch. Comes with this rubberized strap. You can also get a titanium strap option as well, which is a very nice design. The buttons on the outside, we've got four of them, two at the top, two at the bottom as well. These protrude quite nicely, so nice and easy to locate, especially if you've got gloves on. We've also got an extremely clear dot matrix display on the front, so especially when you're under the water, it makes it nice and easy to read and get all the information off of. So some of the features we've got on the computer system itself. We've got in-dive gas switching, so you can switch between two gases during your dive, which makes it extremely versatile. Digital compass built in as well, which again is a great feature. We also have audio and visual alarms to alert you of all the information and all the calculations going on there. It's also compatible with the wireless transmitter, so you can buy this optionally. It attaches to your first stage, uh, transmits your actual tank pressure to the screen right on the front there. This cuts down on any hose clutter, also makes it nice and comfortable. And having that displayed on your screen is a neat little feature. We've also got a dive planner built in. There's also a simulator on there as well, so you can be completely prepared for the dive before you even get into the water. There's also a PC interface as well, so you can transfer all the contents of the, the dives and the computer information straight onto your PC, store it all on there, also get some additional information like graphs and bits and pieces. It also comes with its bundled software as well. This software is actually designed for making the planning of diving and all the profiles and everything a lot more simpler. You can switch between gases and backup plans, really easy to use. It also uses this graphical planner as well, which means you can try variations of depths, times, gases, and also partial pressures without the need to constantly recalculate. It also shows it on a nice, easy to read graph. So if you now go and take a look at the menu system. Okay, so take a look at the menu system on the computer then. Accessed by the four main buttons on the outside. Obviously got the nice large dot matrix display, so it makes everything nice and easy to read. Currently sat in the time mode at the moment, so obviously the default mode that the computer goes to, and obviously the mode that you tend to use on a day-to-day -day basis if you wear the computer as a standard watch. So currently displays the main time. You've got the date in the bottom corner there and the day. This information can be changed by pressing the up and down buttons at the bottom here. You can switch to seconds as a dual time and also a stopwatch. You can access the time settings by holding down the down button in the bottom corner. And then put you through to the time settings menu. You can scroll through the time settings menu again using the up and down buttons in the corner just to flick through things like alarm, time, dual time settings, date, and other few bits and pieces. To access any of these menus, then press the select button in the top corner and then make the relevant changes again with the up and down buttons in the bottom corner. Any time you can go back one step in the menu by pressing the mode button, which will send you back one step. You can also access the computer's digital compass by holding down the select button in the top corner for a few seconds. And then again, same situation, by pressing down and holding down the down menu, you can access the compass settings, which again has the same menu set up as before. So some of the other modes we've got then, again, pressing the mode button, send you through to dive modes, and we've got memory modes as well. You can also skip through the different sections on these modes by again, the up and down buttons. If you take a look at the dive mode, So some additional information just flashes up quickly. Also a quick battery check and then through to the dive mode itself. So here's displayed, you have your depth. We have a surface time and no fly time currently shown so in the surface mode. Obviously when it's submerged, other additional information will be displayed here. You then have water temperature and bar pressure as this is obviously compatible with the wireless transmitter. Again, you can change the details at the bottom again by using the up and down buttons like dive time, also max depth, and current time. Again, holding down the down button for a few seconds displays the air dive menu. 
Here you can change things like depth alarms and other bits and pieces. Again, holding down the select button turns on the digital compass. So we also have things for air diving, nitrox diving, gauge diving, and you can also turn the dive settings off if you need to as well. We also have a memory menu. This has the dive planner on it. It's a quick flash up of any remaining desaturation time that needs to be displayed. And then again, using the up and down keys, you can increase or decrease your planned maximum depth. And this will then give you your no decompression time. Again, pressing the mode button and sends you back. You can also flick through to history and logbook on this menu. Logbook obviously just stores logs, dives, stores up to between 47 and 50 hours approximately worth of dive time can be stored on here. Also with the PC interface, you can then transfer all this information onto your PC, get some extra bits and pieces like graphs uh, and other information, and obviously take the contents of the computer and store it onto your PC. The history, this stores uh, information, relevant information from your last dive, so if you want to store this on a, a normal logbook, you can then go back to this screen at a later date and store in the information down there. So as you can see, it's a nice, easy to navigate menu. The nice large display makes it really easy to read, nice and straightforward.